Right, I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about VR because one of the extension activities you've got is to try and make your own VR headset and you can do that fairly easily using some plans like downloaded from the internet. So this is what you end up with, this is Google Cardboard headset. Very cheap to buy, you can buy them for less than £10. Um, and a lot of the expense is in things like the lenses because the uh, rest of the body of it is just made literally from cardboard. I guess its name. So uh, on the screen there you can see the DXF drawing that I've put into Classroom. And this is what that uh, DXF makes. So it makes what's called a net. So a net is a folded flat development of a, of a 3D shape. And this folds back to itself. It's got uh, tabs that are actually part of the of the net so when it folds up it'll all sort of lock together it's got another component part that folds the inside of the box and it's designed cleverly to uh, accept these 44 millimeter convex lenses so a convex lens look bends goes outwards way to remember i think is concave cave goes in so uh, concave lenses go in convex lenses go outwards and he's got a focal length of 44 millimeters so it lets you view things that are about 44 millimeters away from the lens. So there's the lens, 44 mil, and that's gonna be um, pinpoint sharp. So what that means is that when you put your, your phone into the front of the viewer, you're able to view what you see on the screen in, in clarity, in a clear image. So that's your VR viewers, and you need to find yourself two of these bioconvex lenses. There is a supplier on Amazon that's doing them for £2.60 for two. Uh, with free postage, so if we get together and you're interested in buying those, we might have to figure out a way of doing that. Um, there you are, VR headset. I've um, exploded the DXF file that I imported from the developer site, and I've done things like putting uh, dashed lines in for perforations on my drawing, and I've also done what's called nesting. And nesting's where you can get bits and put them together to avoid waste. So I have got a bit of waste there, but uh, it's kind of acceptable. All this now fits into a piece of cardboard which is just so happens the perfect size for one of the new laptop boxes which you've got quite a lot of spare and that creates the shape for you in this really nice uh, thin corrugated cardboard I'm not sure what corrugated cardboard is it's like two layers of, of flat cardboard separated like a honeycomb uh, of ridges to give it stiffness this corrugated cardboard nice and strong and able to be used quite effectively and also pretty sustainable there you are. That's Google Cardboard for you.